gets us started here this afternoon. The Dukes averaging nearly 91 points per ball game, and they've got an early two. And there's um, Mel 10 challenge. Mm -hmm. so. and you, get, you get some of those things going, and, and, and you get a level of play. Trying to find where you, you know it's somewhere, but you don't memorize the entire record book, of course, even if you've been around for 40 years like these two old guys have. <laughs> Duke's gone uh, to the bench once again. We'll see out there number 12, Bryson Blaine, a freshman from Richmond, Virginia. But when hey, Terrell, do not watch this. That could be your Christmas <laughs> present. You're on television right now, so if you have an embarrassing... Terrell is the one, the comedian. He does like to crack jokes. Um, but he also is, like, very caring at this, like, a family person. So he's always worried about everybody else, too, as well. I heard you guys went for dinner last night. Where'd you... Dukes again with the 13 players. Wooden has led all scorers for the Dukes with uh, 18 points. That's a career high. Creating all these turnovers, not with a, a gimmicky style of defense either. No. You know, not, uh, and this all due respect to, you know, BCU and Shaka. The sixth time they did it six years was the only year that Dean A. He can stretch the defense out. With his ability to penetrate and really help Marquette. There's Militant. He answers with a three. LIU breaks the press, and that's the guy you want the ball in his hand. Except another three. Wow. Into hurry look. Marquette is in. Militant able to follow up his eyes but really getting into the floor of the offense all all night tonight. Militant with the pump fake. Gathers himself. Going all the way to the basket. Good defense to distract him from that. Militant lets it go. And that's it. Crossover and get the jumping ball. It's militant. That showed their play. Turnover. Marco Militant. Prediction there. Aaron Reddish can provide that spark on offense. He's got a great looking three point jump shot and he buries that one. Malatich pulls up 15 footer and he's got the. By Gerald Grumdool. Drumgool, the senior out of Rochester, New York. Having a good year. Malatich, boy, knocks it down. The ball. Two shots and the ball out. Malatich with a drive and he's starting to. The trips down. We'll see if they try to. Get him another look, and Reddish is the perfect guy to be defending him. But he leans in with the right hand and scores. Boy, and Melatic gets the rebound. Up on the right wing to Wood. He dribbles to the top of the circle. Melatic feeling it. He wants to shoot another shot, and he does. And he draws the foul by Aaron Reddish. Melatic with the drive off the glass and one. Tyree Kettner, 6'7", sophomore from South Philadelphia. And, hell, boy, that's another three. Showing you how he can get to the rim. 58-45. Melitic in the lane. Good move with the...
on the fly, some kids do. And in that case, I think it would be a negative, but giving the players the opportunity to move around makes a little bit of sense to me. First two act a little bit instead of the full court action. He has them picking up three-quarter action right now. Hey, LIU is shooting a little bit better than 60%. Watching a lot of action in these first couple weeks, Jim. Big East looks like it's going to be a really interesting conference this year. I told you. Close by. The campus is actually 14 miles from here. So, Jim, by my estimation, from what I dealt with a little bit earlier, Thank <laughs> you. 